Hey, what's up guys? The Blixir again. Today we're playing a Game of Thrones mod for Total War Attila, known as Seven Kingdoms, and we're joined by Pixelated Apollo as we take you through the very first battle in the War of the Five Kings, the Battle of the Golden Tooth. Leading a host of 30,000 troops from the Westerlands, Sir Jaime Lannister is ordered to attack the Riverlands by his father Tywin Lannister. The assault is intended as retribution for the abduction of Tyrion Lannister by Caitlyn Stark, a daughter of House Tully, the ruling house of the Riverlands. The Riverlords gathered to defend themselves at the Golden Tooth despite being heavily outnumbered. Don't forget to visit Pixelated Apollo's channel, you'll find a link in the description box below. Stay tuned for more videos like this one and be sure to leave a like and comment if you enjoyed the battle. All right, here we are. Welcome to the Battle of the Golden Tooth. How are you doing, Apollo? I am doing well. I'm very excited to see this battle in action. Mm -hmm. And uh, we got some pretty cool uh, pretty cool houses here in today's fight. We do. We got uh, on my side of the current camera view, we have uh, House Tully. Um, historically, so to speak, it was... Uh, uh, the Riverlands led by House Tully, but the two main participating houses were House Vance and Piper. And on your side, we've got Brax and uh, House Lannister. Lannister. But there were actually yep. seven houses in total uh, below the, the, the Westerlands, as they're called, that was led by Lannister in the battle. But, yeah, that's uh, true. There, there's a lot more houses, but unfortunately, there's only two houses currently in the mod. So we'll have just the two representing the seven or eight they're on the battlefield, mm -hmm. but it looks like Lannister, uh, they are pushing up a small, almost like scouting force. Yeah, I was just about to mention that. It is uh, yeah. indeed what they're doing. I think them being Lannisters and cocky and pri proud, um, they probably underestimate the Tully forces that have sallied out to to try and hold the uh, the mountain passage. Do you see the mountains there in the background, Paulo? Oh, yeah. yeah. Looking very good here at the Golden Tooth. <laughs> it's a little foggy, but you can, you can just see them. They're there. there. It's a very cinematic battlefield. I'm loving this battlefield. Mm -hmm. And so, there goes the uh, the archers. Yep. Letting loose. The uh, crossbowmen seem to be under fire right now, so the Lannister uh, are going to send them up, I guess, get a little closer. The range might not be as good as a good old trusty longbow. Yeah, or they just want to really, you know, get that penetration, you mm -hmm. know, cut through that armor with those crossbows. Get close and personal. Yeah. Oh, man. They're about to fire. Oh! Some gruesome hits there. There we go. Returning fire from Lannister. A shield wall has been formed by the Tully swordsmen up front. So they're ready to receive whatever's going to be coming up behind those crossbowmen. Hmm. Very nasty skirmish going on. So the Lannisters deployed about 30,000 men. Uh, not the Lannisters alone, but the Westerlands led by the Lannisters at this time. Um, yes. The Tully forces, also known as the Riverland forces... We're probably about below 8,000. That's what a lot of people say for sure. Now, this battle was never actually shown uh, visually in any of the, the uh, episodes. Uh, and it was, But it was actually the first battle to kick off the war. So it is a very crucial one, despite not being shown. Yeah, yeah, you're right. It's not exactly clear how many troops they had. Mm -hmm. um, but we do know that, the, you know, Lannister... It was less than 8,000. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and they had tons of troops over on the other side. Yeah. Uh, but we got our first uh, advancing troops here from Lannister. We got some common swordsmen. They're and going for a charge. We got charge. our first charge. Oh, man, look at this. I love it. The archers in the back still putting down suppressing fire. It's a gruesome encounter. Yeah, and the guardsmen being a little bit more skilled than what Lannister is throwing at them should be able to hold here in this situation. Mm -hmm. They're going to make a pretty firm stand. So I feel like there's a lot of pressure built up between these two fighting parties. Uh, previously, prior to this battle, Sir Craig Gregor Clegane uh, was sent out by Jaime Lannister to raid nearby villages, uh, which also spread out the Tully forces, which is why they're so outnumbered in this situation. And obviously, if you're going to have your, your families and, uh, and friends murdered and uh, which homes pillaged, you're going to be pretty, pretty upset to then face the opponent who's been, who's been uh, harassing your, your lands. Absolutely. That's why they stand against such numbers. 
Here come House Brax. Uh, but here comes some reinforcements. Yep, yep, here they come. So, we got a lot of uh, Lannister just kind of regrouping at this point, realizing that reinforcements are on the way. That so looks gonna, epic. Yeah, they're not going to freak out. They're not going to nope. run away. They're just going to wait for a They're reinforcement Lannisters. To they're not going to run away that easily. No, no. And they're going to join with that Brax assault. That is epic. Oh, man, that's awesome. Tully Force is still holding. The line has been thinned, but they're still holding. I love seeing the trail of just dead bodies of where they're standing. Yeah. It's absolutely fantastic. Tully reinforcements being sent in now. Look at these men. Oh, it's such a nasty clash. I don't know what you're currently looking at, uh, Apollo, but the force back there is so massive. 30,000 men just moving yeah, forward. Yeah, yeah. Massive force. Now the rest of... And this is like the rear guard, you know, the, the very skilled warriors. Mm -hmm. uh, they're marching forward, and they might have to be, uh, you know, they might have to join the fight here. If Look they're... at that cavalry charge! Oh, 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 that's right! Oh my god! Tally out forces. The, out of the forest, out of nowhere. They were a it's little more prepared than the Lannister forces thought. And they're going to be catching that uh, Lannister cavalry off guard. Very cool. Yeah, yeah, I mean, to be so heavily outnumbered, you got to have some tricks up your sleeves to Absolutely. try to bring down the numbers. Yeah. Otherwise, I don't even think you could expect soldiers to stay and fight. No, no, absolutely. While that cav fight continues, uh, the Tully line is going to be reorganized and reformed. I still feel like there's a there's a fighting chance and there's definitely a hope of victory with these severely outnumbered men. But then again, think about it, Apollo. Would they know that they were so heavily outnumbered? They know that the Lannisters pack a pack a punch for sure. But surely you 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 can't know for sure. Exactly. Oh yeah. What the, the armies Absolutely. Are like yeah for yeah because like these battlefields are so massive. It's hard to like you can't count you know each side mm -hmm, exactly. so. As a soldier, as long as your flank is not breaking, they tend to just stay in the fight, regardless of if they're outnumbered or not. Mm -hmm. We got another cab charge coming up on the left side, another Lannister force. But I don't think those spearmen expected that. They're not in formation, not in proper formation. They're going to do that at the last second. Oh, but it's not oh. going to be enough. They form up, but I don't know if that's early enough. The, the cab just came out of the forest. Nice. That was a, a beautiful charge from... The heavy cab from Lannister and just obliterates that force. Ooh, Tully Cavalry joining in as well. Uh oh, yeah, the general, general going in. Yeah, it's pretty vital that they just hold on to their flanks at this mm -hmm. point. So what's happening in the center now? We got oh. some uh, Lannister spearmen. Way heavier than the levies that were sent up first to get a taste of the fight. Yes, more, more professional. Look at this charge now. Troop. Oh, that is good. Oh. A nice counter charge there. The cavalry fight continued. Uh, looks like... Um, the Lannister cavalry survived for the majority of the part, but I think some of them are retreating now. Some yeah. Tully spearmen have joined the fight. It's unclear what's going on right now in the heat of the battle. It's very unclear. Yeah, we do know that Lannister is sending up those reinforce the spear reinforcements, and mm -hmm. it just seems like it's going to be very difficult for that cav to be able to uh, hold this flank. Certainly. It also looks like the center has more or less collapsed. The uh, Tully fighters oh, yeah. don't Center. seem to be to really make a stand here. Let's see if they can reorganize to kind of make some kind of attempt to hold back the Lannister forces. But if you look back there at what's advancing, it's just this is kind of the point of this. This is it is the starting battle, and it is supposed to be an absolute crushing victory because of the circumstances of the attack, the being yeah, uh, Caitlyn Stark's uh, abduction of. Uh, Tyrion, I, when Tywin Lannister sent out uh, Jaime Lannister and 30,000 men, 
Um, he uh, he expected a crushing victory. This was a revenge fight, uh, not necessarily a, a a huge strategical move, but more in, in revenge of the abduction. Your um, the defenders were able to uh, kind of hold the center for a little bit with the help of the general. So he's trying to reform quickly because we got another uh, another line of reinforcements. I mean, I could imagine the defenders just kind of looking out in the distance and they can't really see clearly, but every once in a while they'll see a fresh line just show up yeah. and how demoralizing that has to and be. And I think I think the 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 main body of the army army which is still back there is starting to become a little bit more visible now. And that's got to add to the the loss of morale and talking about that, these guys are having it. I think they're heading back to to River Run right now. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they re they realize the numbers are endless and there's no way they stand a chance against this force. The general called for a retreat. He's uh, returning with his cavalry as well. So they're heading back to River Run indeed. And uh, I guess another day. Apollo will be seeing a siege pretty soon. Yes. Uh, which I am uh, pretty excited for. Look at yeah, that. it's gonna be pretty cool. Just to see like what happens next. Mm -hmm. So we're planning on covering pretty much every single battle that we can from start to finish. Um, you know, to add a sort of lore touch to the, the fighting, it kind of makes it all funnier, in, in my opinion, than, than to just kind of like do a random battle. So right. hopefully everyone's been enjoying this. It's been a pretty quick, but a good, good starting battle to kick off this uh, hopefully uh, decently long lasting series. Look at that frickin' horde marching up there. <laughs> I know, as they run off into the sunset. I'm gonna take a look at Jamie Lannister as well while I can. Yeah, so you know Jamie's uh, feeling pretty good right now. Clear victory. I don't think he expected anything else. But still a good fight. The Italians definitely put up a struggle. Oh yeah, considering their numbers and the, the force that they had to face, so uh, they did well. I mean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they were. I mean, that was a small force, but they were skilled, and it just they couldn't hold back against the endless numbers of this massive force. No. Oh. The men have broken and are fleeing. Well, I think that pretty makes uh, pretty much sums up this fight. Do you have anything to add, Apollo? I'm ready for the next one. That's all I all I have to say. Cool. So everyone, don't forget to uh, once again leave uh, suggestions and feedback in the comment section. And uh, of course, depending on where you're watching this video from, if it's my channel or Paula's channel, be sure to check each other out. We might in the future do um, take turns and upload uh, only one video of the battle per channel, and then we'll just kind of take turns and and, 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 and uh, you know, so people have to go back and forth. But we'll we'll find out how we do. It. Yeah, we'll see what we'll, we'll do. Yeah, but, cool. Yeah, this is good fun. Really good fun. All right. Hope to see you guys soon again. Thanks for watching. Bye.